Let's talk about, uh, you know, something that, that delights us, this idea of driverless cars. Now, how does that work in programming? Does a, does a program that takes advantage of probabilistic, indeterminate phenomena actually, you know, come to a fork in the road and roll the dice and say this one's likely? Or does it actually have a calculation which says this is the best path? Or what's it doing? Well, it could do either one of those things. It depends on uh, what it's set up to do. All of this is driven by a, an intent or a goal. Uh, it's trying to get from where it is to somewhere else. And that intent informs the action, but also the uh, surroundings inform the action. What it has to do, because the world is so random, is that it chooses the best course of action given how it has sensed the world and the goal it has. When does the driverless car get to a point where it realizes I'm in a zone where I could really make a mistake here, I should pull over and stop? How does that calculation get made? You know, if it's best guess is still indeterminate, right? The idea is that these probabilities narrow as it moves on, observing the world. Uh, the distribution becomes narrower, and it's going to select as reality the, 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 the mode of the distribution, the peak value. And normally, we want that to get very narrow as the car is moving along. But if, if the probabilities are still spread all over the place after it's done its sensing in motion, and it can't just make a good decision about which way to go because it's so random, that's when it has to give up. So that's the guy who asks for directions. <laughs> right. That's exactly. right. There we go.